All right, guys. So today we're doing an AC condenser on a Tundra. I think it's a 2015. Obviously, I already replaced it. I still haven't bought it all back down yet, but I want to show you guys how to do it. Uh, so you obviously you got your grill, okay? When you have your grill, when it's sitting here, you're gonna see one, two, three, four bolts, okay? Four bolts. Uh, I believe they're number tens, if I'm not mistaken. Then you're gonna have the plastic clip over here, and you're gonna have another plastic clip over here. Okay, you take that off. After you replace, you take that off. You kind of pull the uh, grill above this little rigid that it has. So with the plastic, it's free. And then it has a clip on this side that basically you're gonna grab onto the grill and you're gonna pull. Okay, so it releases the clip. I'm gonna show you guys what clip that is. See this guy right here. That's a clip right there. That's one, and then this is the other one. Okay, you just pull and it's gonna release. And then from there, you're obviously gonna see the radiate the condenser, which is this one. On this one, it got busted out in the corner. If you can see that, that wet section there, that's what it is leaking from. So, the customer he went to a shop somewhere they recharge the system they told him that he didn't have no free no no leaks and a few months later he, he called me and as soon as i came in i saw the leak so now this condenser that we're putting on he ordered it and it's definitely different from the one that he has but it's essentially from this half over here these two hoses connected here those are cooler Okay, it's a cooler for power steering or transmission, whichever the car want to use it for, the model that he bought it for. But we're not going to be using any of that. Okay, so it's just going to be from here over, down, it's going to be the condenser. And then that's just going to stay free there. That's going to be, we're not going to use it for anything. Uh, we should still be able to use uh, the same mounting holes, the same bracket. It has different brackets. But we still should be able to use it and everything should line up where it's supposed to be because it's for the same car. Um, so, now after that, I'm going to show you guys what you have to do. The condenser has to come out between the radiator and this frame here. So you have to loosen up the radiator to be able to move the frame with all the brackets taken off. You cannot do it with the brackets on, with the brackets off. Now you see this hole here? That hose has a, a 12 millimeter bolt that comes across into the actual bracket of the radiator. Okay, so there's four point four points. It's gonna be this one, it's gonna be this one, and if you can see this other hole right here, I don't know if I can point it out. Well, this one is gonna go across too, and then you got this one. It's gonna go across to that one over there. So there's four bolts that hold the radiator bracket in place, okay? And then after you loosen it up, obviously you can move it back and forward and you can slide that condenser out. So after you do that, uh, you're gonna have to take the brackets of the old condenser uh, so you can remove it. So you have this line here, okay? You're gonna remove that. You got this bracket here you're not gonna remove just yet because on the bottom if you follow this pipe here it's gonna be another connection right there this is all 10 millimeter bolts so you can disconnect the two lines after you disconnect the two lines then you're gonna go for the brackets uh, you're gonna have a bracket here like just like this one with two bolts you're gonna instead of having a bracket here on the side you're gonna have a bracket right on top of the uh, condenser that lines up to this bolt okay that bolt is the one that keeps it in guide so it doesn't fall off but it's gonna have two bolts right on top of the edge over here it's gonna be the same thing two bolts right on top of the edge and obviously this little mark right here that was from uh, when it came out of the box uh, it was damaged so if you can see the thickness there to the thickness here on these lines that's because this section is the cooler and this section is just the condenser. 
but regardless you're gonna take that bracket off then you're gonna move down here you're gonna take this bracket and this bracket off now the ready the condenser is gonna be off by then and on the um, radiator bracket is gonna see is gonna see this plastic it's gonna have three little clips just like this one you're gonna take those off so it loosens up away from the radiator the same way on this one three little clips it's gonna loose off so <clears throat> after that essentially the condenser is gonna fall down then you just push the radiator just a little bit so you can slide it through and you can get that guy out of the way and once you have it out then you can start prepping the new one to put it back in so that's the old one and this is the little brackets that I was telling you about it bolts onto the top so after that we start putting everything back together and go at it all right be right back all right guys so here's what we got we got the bracket where right where it's supposed to be the one the, the one on the bottom the one here is working just fine now this one it's a little tap shorter so we have to do it on the second hole instead of using the two both holes so it will line up somewhat to the stud here i'm assuming that with this bracket originally this stud should have been a little bit longer but still it's working just fine the condenser is not going to go anywhere it has its four points so now all the leftover things that we have to do is uh, connect our lines we'll put a we we'll put new rings on it on this one and the one on the bottom so we're going to connect all lines and then it's a back process um, I had removed the horn just because it wasn't my way getting the, the bracket here from the original one and then from there we're going to secure the radiator back in place put our bolts put a little crumbs and then we can start doing vacuum and and so forth so let me do that real quick let me connect these two lines right here this one and the one on the bottom I uh, don't remember this little bolt here for this line this is the support of it and then uh, uh, secure the radiator all right be right back all right guys so we got as you can see in there there we go we got four bolts we got a line secure right here everything is secure the radiator is secure on four points now we're going to put the little tabs here so we can secure this plastic okay uh, still got to put the horn back in place where the bolt is and i should be able to start doing vacuum i'm not going to put the grill just yet because we got to cut it here to the high pressure and the low pressure right here so once we connect we can do vacuum on the system and then we can start recharging so let me connect the horn the little plastics and I start doing vacuum on the system okay we're right back all right guys so we got everything back on the brackets plastic the radiators back on we already did vacuum on the system. Uh, we put some dye on it just to make sure down the roof it leaks where it might be leaking from. I ready to vacuum again. Put me on already. Uh, now I'm just waiting for the car to actually do its thing to kind of cool off and and see where we at. I do notice that the fan is not the best. It's barely blowing some air. I know the clutch is not clicked in yet on the fan, but it should be blowing a little bit more than that. So it might be a little weak. The truck has like 200,000 miles, so it might be overdue for a change. But uh, other than that, from here, all we just got to put is the uh, face back on. And yeah, let's just clip on and then mounting down the four bolts on top. And that's it. All right, like always. Share, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the, in the next one. And if you guys could press like, it helps me with the algorithm of YouTube. So that people, more people will see my videos and so we can help out uh, more people.
Alright, like always, if you guys have any questions, let me know and we'll try to figure it out. Alright, later guys.